Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will discuss identifying meteorite using magnets. You can identify a meteorite using a magnet. Many meteorites contain a high percentage of iron and nickel, making them magnetic. If you have a piece of rock and suspect it might be a meteorite, you can use a magnet to check if it is attracted to the magnet. If it is strongly attracted, there is a high probability that it could be a meteorite. However, there are many terrestrial rocks that also contain magnetic minerals, so this method is not completely reliable and should be used alongside other tests for confirmation. In addition to the magnet test, there are several other methods that can be used to determine if a stone is a meteorite. Dense weight, meteorites are usually heavier than terrestrial rocks due to their high content of metals, especially iron and nickel. External surface, meteorites are often covered with a fusion crust that formed when they entered the Earth's atmosphere. This peel is black or dark brown and smooth. Internal structure, when a meteorite is cut, a distinctive metallic internal structure can be seen. Iron meteorites and stony iron meteorites contain crystals of the minerals camasite and tenite. Tradwire du text avec votre appareil photo, mineral streaks, some meteorites contain metallic streaks or signs of rapid melting and cooling, such as weedman stettin structures in iron meteorites. Nickel testing, meteorites can be tested using chemicals to detect nickel, which is found in high levels in most meteorites. Laboratory analysis, the sample can be sent to a specialized laboratory to analyze its chemical and physical components. Using these methods in combination can increase identification accuracy. If you have a piece that you suspect is a meteorite, it may be best to consult an expert or send the sample to a laboratory for analysis. Visual tests, craters and cavities. Meteorites usually have an irregular surface with small craters melting cavities as a result of rapid melting during entry into the atmosphere. No bubbles. Most meteorites do not contain air bubbles. Unlike volcanic terrestrial rocks. Magnetism. Use a strong magnet. A strong neodymium magnet should be used because it will be more able to attract meteorites with a high metal content. Magnetic attraction, if the stone is strongly attracted to a magnet. This may be an indication that it contains a high percentage of iron and nickel. Microscopic examination, mineral inclusions, under a microscope, you can see metallic inclusions inside the meteorite, which are usually small grains of metals such as iron or nickel. Crystal shapes in iron meteorites, you can see distinctive crystal shapes that indicate the special mineral structure. Chemical tests, spectrophotometric analysis, spectroscopy can be used to determine the chemical composition of a sample. Meteorites usually contain high percentages of nickel and iron compared to terrestrial rocks. Nickel tests, dimethylglyoxime DMG solution can be used to test for the presence of nickel. If the solution turns pink, this indicates the presence of nickel. Ray examination, analog X-rays. X-rays can be used to examine the internal structure of a sample, where the presence of dense minerals can be detected. Examination using modern techniques, infrared scanning. Infrared techniques can be used to analyze the chemical composition and crystal structure of a sample. Nuclear magnetic resonance imaging. This test is used to study the internal structure of matter and can be useful in identifying meteorites. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Thanks for watching.